think about it. If I give you this problem, do you think you could do it without paper, without a calculator? When you look right at it right away, I know it looks pretty intimidating. How many six hundredths fit in 45? Maybe you want to think about it like money. If I have $45, how many groups of a nickel and a penny do I have? Okay, never mind. That sounds even harder. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do something difficult like this in your head quite easily. We just have to break it up down like this. Do you see a connection between these problems? I got 15 divided by 6. I got 15 divided by 12. Then there's this 45. Can you make a connection between the problems? What about a connection between the dividends? The dividends is the first number in a division problem. So I got a 15 and a 15 and a 45 and a 45. Do you see a connection between those? What about the divisors? What's the connection between the divisors? The divisors is the second number in a division problem. And right away I can see something they all have the same. Do you see it? So let's just take it step by step. 15 divided by 6 and then 15 divided by 12. These two is going to lead us to that hard one. Now stay with me here. The question is, how many sixes are in 15? How many sixes fit in that 15? So 6 and another 6 is 12. So at least two sixes can fit. If I try for another 6, I go past 15. Three sixes are 18. So I can say 15 divided by 6 is at least 2. I could have two sixes, but then there's three left over 12, 13, 14, 15. That's three left over. Now, you have probably been practicing math for a while that write remainder three or three leftovers, something like that. But that's not how adults really write it. We need to write it in a decimal or a fraction form. The question here is how much of a six is that three? So if I'm asking you how many sixes fit in 15, two sixes and then some more. So three, though, is in fact half of a six. So how many sixes fit in 15? Two and a half sixes fit in 15. Are you with me? <laughs> now we have 15 divided by 12. I'm asking you how many 12s are in 15. One 12 is 12, but two 12s is 24. So only one 12 is going to fit. My question is, how is 6 and the 12 related? How are the divisors related? Let's take a look. 12 is half of 6. 6 doubled is 12. So how many 12s are in 15? One 12 and three left over. So that means one 12 with three left over. So now I had three left over in the first problem. I have three left over in the next problem. So now my question is, that three left over, how much of a 12 is that three? Let's see, one three is three, two threes is six, four threes is 12. So in fact, three is one fourth of a 12. It's kind of hard to understand, but I know you're with me. So I could change that to say one fourth. One and one fourth of a 12 fits in 15. That was tricky. So now let's try it again. Let's get closer to that hard problem by doing 45 divided by six. How many sixes are in 45? Now the problem seems pretty impossible to do without a piece of paper or calculator. It seems too big. But if you know what's inside the 45 and how to manipulate numbers, you can do this problem in your head. I'm asking you, how many sixes are in 45, but I know how many 15s are in 45? Well, and that's three. There's three 15s in 45, so now it makes it a little bit easier. There's three 15s in 45. And I know how many sixes are in 15. There's two sixes in one 15, two sixes in the other 15, and two sixes in the last 15. So instead of thinking how many sixes are in 45, I can think how many sixes are in 15. So let's see. 
if 6 plus 6 is 12, and there's 3 more to 15, that's one group. If 6 and 6 are 12, and 3 more to the next 15, and 6 and 6 are 12, plus 3 more to the 115, I can make another group of 6 here. And if I make another group of 6 here, well, now I can do this in my head. Six sixes make 36, but there's a few left. There's those left. That means seven times six is 42 with three left over. So my answer is how many sixes fit in 45? Seven and three sixths of a six fit in 45. Which brings us to that really hard one you probably couldn't do in your head. If this answer is seven and a half, I could just make that 7.5, right? And if I know that answer is 7.5, watch what happens to the decimal. Well, there you go. I just did it. How many six hundredths are in 45? 750 six hundredths are in 45. Boom, baby. So I just made a very impossible problem a little more possible with a conversation.